Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. So I'm going to go enough with you guys on MULN again. MULN will be added to the Russell 2000 and 3000 on June 27th. So I'm going to go over exactly which kind of momentum we have at this point in time. What exactly are we looking for to have a continuation on higher here? And again, a major breakout like we had previously. What exactly has to happen for us to get that momentum? I'm going to go over all this with you guys. And if you guys are day traders or you guys are looking for intraday perspective breakouts throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss a breakout alert today again. So let's jump into this one. So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on MULN, again, we did mention on Sunday that we were looking to see if we can continue to respect our 20-day moving average, and it looks like we did continue to respect it for the last couple of days. We did continue on higher. Again, we are leading into June 27th, where MULN will be added to the Russell 2000 and 3000, so we did get some momentum this week from that. And so the question from here is, are we going to get our 20-day moving average to cross over our 50 and continue to respect our 20-day moving average? Because if that happens and we do continue to respect it, we will have a major move to the upside as we are leading into June 27th. However, if we are looking for that possible rejection, what exactly will not give us that momentum to the upside? Not only our 20-day moving average getting rejected at our 50, but also our EMI lines not crossing above here, which it looks like we are beginning to cross above. And we are looking for that continuation on buy pressure here. If that does happen, then we would get a major move to the upside. And I would be setting my alert here on the MACD. As you guys can see, you go over to the plus sign here on the right on trading view. You click add alert and then you can put the alert right above your previous buy pressure point. So that way, if it does break above it, then you will have more confirmation on that momentum. And as you guys can see, our EMA lines are just looking to see if they can cross above the MACD. We're going to see if this does continue. A very nice possible setup for a nice continuation on higher if we do continue to respect our 20 day moving average. And to recap on our Bollinger Bands, again, representing compression and decompression, we have an area of compression here that we are looking to see if we can either decompress to the upside with or the downside with. And again, looking to see if we can respect our 20 day moving average to continue on with that compression to the upside as we are pushing into the upper end of our second deviation again the upper end of our Bollinger Band which is our second deviation looking to see if we can continue on with that pressure as you guys can see previously we broke into our second deviation we did continue on higher so we're looking for the same thing to happen here with our 20 crossing over our 50 so make sure we do have more confirmation on that move and looking at the RSI here as you guys can see we are not overbought we still have room to run to the upside and we are getting higher highs here as we are on the RSI so that does show us that we still could continue on higher again if we do get that rejection on lower highs here from our previous peak then I definitely would be careful for a possible bearish divergence forming and a major rejection at some point. But again, as far as what we're looking at now, we do have our RSI pointing up, showing us that we still could continue on higher. So we're going to keep an eye on MULN to see if we do get that decompression and continuation on that decompression to the upside and get our 20 moving average to cross back over our 50 to make sure we do continue on higher. Now, there is a gap that if we do get above, then we could continue on higher on this gap. And that is from $2 to 250 As you guys can see, we have our previous doji candle here at 250 And as you guys can see, we have multiple rejections to the upside here at two dollars and that is a psychological resistance i would expect a continuation on higher from two dollars to 250 if we did continue on above two dollars that is again if we get our total new average across over 50 and we continue to respect it and we do get that increase in buy pressure confirming that we are increasing in momentum to the upside and if we do get a strong push a very strong push then we would continue on above our previous buy pressure point which is quite a ways but we will be looking for that possible confirmation regardless and if it does happen then we will mention it in the instables of course now again with that said if you are a day trader or you are looking for major breakouts that we mentioned every single day throughout the week again for only 15 dollars a month go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a break alert today again and all of you into the bulls that come over every single day and support the channel i appreciate it one of you guys again a very choppy day today because Powell came out at open and then we have Powell coming out 30 minutes after open tomorrow so Powell taking a lot of the volume from us in the mornings but we still had decent breakouts this morning so just staying patient taking what the market gives us as always and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again, god bless you all and i'll see you guys in pre-market